Wah. Wah. Okay. <laughs> That's enough fun for one day, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's been like three months or so since the last time I've shot a video. And, um, well, I guess I have been working outside so much that I've developed myself a unique tan line. Meaning, not really a tan line, but I'm pretty dark now, so that makes me happy. Uh, oh yeah, a new addition to the family. Yeah, I just got these, these are fresh from the beginning of the summer. I like them a lot. Yeah. Uh, the dreads also, of course this is a dreadlock talk. The dreads, I've been swimming in salt water almost every single day this summer and outside all the time. So the dreads are turning nice and blonde. It's kind of freaking me out because like every single morning I lived on a river and a saltwater river and every single morning I would swim across the river and then there would be these seals like harbor seals and stuff and they'd just be following me. And after a while, about halfway through the summer, I just kind of thought to myself as I was swimming, I was like, is it smart for me to be swimming with all of these seals? Because they got pretty sharp teeth. Luckily, seals kind of leave people alone, but if there was like one angry male seal, you know, they are powerful. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the dreads. It's all looking good. I put a few beads in. Got a bead right here. I got a bead in the back. If I find it, there it is. Yeah, so remember that, uh, like a stumpy in the back? That's much longer now. And then, of course, I also had that one at the front. That's getting really long now, too. That's like almost at lip level. I guess that is. Anyway, so that's getting long, too. That, this dread started like here, so it's pretty good. What is today? Today is the end of August, so basically the beginning of September. I have about one month to go until I hit my 12 month point. Yes, but here is the issue, I guess, that I'm pending. I can't show off my one year marker as much as I want to. I mean, I'll try to film it, but if I can't, there's a reason. Starting on the 8th of September, coming up, I am going to be... Uh, I am going to be traveling Europe for like six months and then after that I'm gonna be traveling other places and stuff but if I start traveling I don't think I'm gonna have time to take all these videos I try to take a few videos but yeah so I guess I'm giving a kind of a prequel that this is the 11th month update and there might not be a 12 month which is unfortunate but one month difference that's not too much yeah I guess Big difference is with the dreads now, they're all getting really long and it's way easier for me to like tie them up into something like that if I wanted to. Could even bring the ponytail a little bit back. It's getting there. Finally they're getting long enough so I'll get tied together. But then also, just because I guess I've been neglecting them more lately, getting a lot more of a this stuff in the front going on, just loose hairs everywhere. I don't really mind actually. Everybody keeps coming up to me and they're all like, you should fix your dreads, you should make them better, you should do this, you should do that. And I'm just like, you know what, man? I have dreads. There's a lot of maintenance involved, if you want there to be. And I just kind of looked at him and him. Looked at all of them. And I'm just kind of just describing, I kind of like how it looks a little bit more natural now. It's it's not too perfect, it's not too like tight or anything. When I mean tight, I mean like tight personality wise, so yeah. I don't know, I like them and I guess that's my decision. These are my dreads and nobody else's dreads. So yeah, that's what's up. Um, just trying to think, uh, da -da -da. I'm getting this strange type of dread here that it's growing and it's almost I'm not gonna do it but it looks like I'm not sure if you can see that but it looks like you can almost stick like a finger 
but then underneath the roots there. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to try to let nature take its course and just repair that. But it's kind of been like that since day one, and it hasn't really fixed itself yet, so it's kind of like freaking me out. I'm just going to ignore it, but yeah. I'll give you a little 360 tour view of my dreads right now. Here we go. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, really excited about the progression. Um, they're a lot blonder, which is cool, because hopefully the blonde, it will. It'll just uh, stay blonde now, and even in the winter, hopefully it'll be this blonde, and then it'll be dark to show some layers, and then next summer it'll get even more blonde, and then the next part will get blonde, it'll keep on happening, happening. So yeah. Very cool. Um, there's no unnatural dyes being used. It's just bleaching itself naturally with the sun, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'll just really quickly talk about my trip. I'm going to, um, flying into Amsterdam, visiting some relatives. That's where I'm from. That's where my family comes from. Then I'm going to go around Europe, start from the north, Then because it's in September. It's going to get chilly. I'm going to start from the north, and I'm going to work down all the way to, like, Spain, bottom of Spain, Gibraltar. And then I'm going to hop over with a little ferry to get over to like Morocco and Africa. Maybe spend a few weeks in Africa. And then after that I'm going to come back and I'm going to go up to the UK. going to visit some family. going to do awesome stuff in the UK. Oh, it's going to be a big, 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 big trip. And uh, it's going to do a lot of backpacking. Everything is going to be on my back. Uh, I crammed a tent into my backpack somehow. So I'm going to try to save on a lot of money. And I'm just going to try to tent it up. I mean, like, hostels are great, and I'm going to do hostel, hostels as much as possible for the social aspect of things. But at the same time, I want to save some money and experience Europe my way. So I'm going to be tenting it up, despite what other people tell me. They're like, don't you tent that up. Europe, Europe is not a natural location. So, yeah, no, I'm going to be doing that. Just going to walk in the highway, find a bushel, bushel area of trees, gonna set up the tent underneath the trees or something, tent it up. Yeah, so there's the trip. Uh, I have no idea what the next update is gonna be. Uh, so, I guess just keep interested in the channel, hopefully. And like I said before, I'm gonna give some more tips and stuff on how to do dreadlocks better. Uh, but right now, I'm just enjoying life, just enjoying the dreads, and yeah. See you soon. Evan is out.